Football. Hi, I'm Dr. Dana Pletcher. Welcome to another sunrise here at Hot Tube on HealthDocs.org. Your place for hot tub, hot tube, health hints and education, practical matters that you and your family can use. This morning we're uh, talking a little bit about energy medicine again and talking this morning about frequency specific microcurrent, sometimes referred to as FSM, frequency specific microcurrent. It's a relatively uh, new procedure, therapy that's powerful. It's energy medicine. It moves energy and information in our body and removes obstruction like acupuncture has been doing for 5,000 years. But with microcurrent, we can specifically target tissues because the theory of why it works, and we have much, much evidence in, in building research of why microcurrent frequency specific microcurrent works. The theory is that every tissue in our body, every gland, every organ, has a frequency that it dances to, that it sings at like a musical note or a musical instrument when it's happy and healthy. When it's not happy, not healthy, when it's had trauma or toxicity or disease, perhaps after an infection, a viral infection, we feel really never quite the same. And it's because there's become an energy blockage in our matrix. And you can find more about the matrix uh, on healthdocs.org, looking at the uh, term matrix and a search there engine on healthdocs.org. The uh, matrix is that system of connective tissue that's our fascia, which you may have heard about, our muscles, tendons, bones, all the connective tissue. Everything that's not a cell in our body, which we have trillions of cells, everything that's not a cell is connective tissue, the matrix, the living matrix, like the movie. And this matrix carries information and energy. It's a biocomputer, it's a semiconductor. It looks like silicone quartz in nature, like we use in computers to process, store, and transfer information. So our body does that through the matrix. And can you imagine if the body becomes gunked up, if that system becomes obstructed? It's like having a virus in our computer. Instead, we've got a virus in our living matrix. It's like having uh, gunk on your uh, hard drive, in your laser printer, uh, your laser in your uh, DVD player, recorder it's going to mess up the information. And our body stores toxins that it thinks, well, maybe where should I put this poison? Hmm, brain? Uh, not the best idea. Heart? No, not so good either. Uh, let's put it in the matrix between the cells, which for a while works. But each year we're on this planet, we store more and more toxic products, whether they're ones we've produced or ones that come from the outside in the in environment. In fact, <laughs> never seen before by nature molecules called drugs, prescription drugs, never seen before by nature molecules are stored in the matrix. The uh, side effects of those sometimes occur later because as our, they're released from our matrix, they can cause symptoms down the road. And that's why many times a person on a medication at first doesn't have over uh, side effects that you see, the whole page or two of side effects for each medication, but they have them later because there's a buildup in our body and it overcomes our body's ability to store and hide that, the toxic effect of the pharmaceutical drug. Now don't get me wrong, many of my patients take pharmaceutical drugs and for a time, perhaps they're necessary and helpful. But to take them your whole life and then end up on five, four, six, eight, twelve different prescriptions, no one knows the effects of that, the intermix of those. Every drug's only been studied by itself. No drug has been studied in interaction with another drug. So if you're taking one drug and now you add another drug, you ask your doctor, show me a study on those two drugs. For example, Zantac and uh, an ACE inhibitor blood pressure medication. Uh, they'll say, uh, well, there isn't any. So it's an experiment every time we take more than one drug. So microcurrent, how does it work? It works through the matrix. It actually releases toxins stored in the matrix, that's one of its effects, but it's, it sends information through the matrix to the pancreas. There's frequencies for the pancreas. There's a specific frequency, it dances. We'll call it, say, like 256 hertz, uh, for example. That's the middle C on the music note scale. And if uh, the uh, orchestra is off key when they tune up, their instruments, the, it won't be a symphony, it'll be a discord, and we won't want to listen to it. In our body, same thing happens when, say, the pancreas is off-key, maybe our adrenal glands 
probably most likely off key because our adrenal glands are where all stress goes. We'll talk about that on another health tube, uh, hot tube event here. So getting back to microcurrent, it works to send specific frequencies. So if we have a concussion, for example, the only thing I know of that helps remove concussion from the body is microcurrent. There are specific frequencies for the brain and for concussion that help us re re, uh, restore and uh, rejuvenate from a concussion, which a concussion may affect us the rest of our life if it's not taken out of the body. In fact, probably will. In fact, uh, one of the studies in 1983 was a cancer study. It was in Scientific American that uh, the uh, title or the gist of it was cancer, a wound never healed. And many of us have wounds and traumas. For example, we can get a, a trauma to our shoulder and it never completely heals energetically. We may go in and get some physical therapy for it and the owie, the bulk of the owie may be gone, but we still always know we injured that shoulder. If it gets cold, we'll ache there. Well, that's a sign of continuing energy imbalance in the meridians and the matrix that affects the shoulder, but it also may affect the meridians running through the shoulder. One of those meridians is the large intestine meridian, so it might affect our large intestine. Later, we develop irritable bowel syndrome or we develop uh, uh, cancer is the worst case scenario. Um, so, and the heart meridian runs through our shoulder also, so we don't want to negatively influence the energy to our heart. So microcurrent works gently, specifically, and we're finding more and more about it every day with research, and uh, that's something you want to explore. And you can look for a microcurrent practitioner by going to the link on our website, healthdocs.org, for microcurrent, for uh, hot tube, hot tube health. At healthdocs.org, this is Dr. Dana Pletcher. And I'm going to turn on the bubbles and enjoy the sunrise. Enjoy your day. I am.